How's it going dudes and welcome back to Star Ocean and yeah we're supposed to head down to Asterius do the transport room What could the Scorpion want with Aster 4? We need to get to Asterius and have Lola fill us in Mhm. Mm oh we're here Lola, you all appear well Yes What of the Emperor, the Colonel and Gaston? Well, I see. Let us go meet with his royal majesty. Oh, we're in the middle of the castle. All right. Can I help you? Ah, uh, apologies. It is clear as day that your school. His majesty awaits with his council just Aww. above. Aww. I cut off what they were talking about. Just when I thought we were... Leticia, Raymond, it is good to have you back. It relieves me to see you well, Father. Whatever has happened here in my absence? Yeah, These what did happen? strange beings simply rained down upon us one day. A whole expanse of the Nilbeth continent fell all but instantly. Oh. And what of the Trathen? Have you heard nothing? Many of your people have fled their homes to seek refuge in Osarius and Vale. Some fled for the Nilbeth capital instead, but all are safe. Indeed, then I am relieved. The invaders have made no further movements since their capture of Nilbeth. Without mm. the slightest inkling of their plan, the Royal and Imperial navies can do naught but sit and wait off the coast. Uh. These invaders are... Scorpium. That much is obvious. If I am not mistaken, their foremost aim is most certainly the Ancient Coil. They have raided similar sites in other worlds beyond our own. But the centralist faction which espoused such ways has been eliminated. You say that, but look at what's in front of you. This is exactly the kind of thing those bastards would do. Yes, it is. Bray, transmission from Aster 4 surface. It's being relayed through a satellite, but I think it's from that Scorpium construction. What? There's no way. Eh? Huh? Merchant vessel He's Aldous. alive? Your return has kept us waiting. That voice. Poltor, I witnessed you perish. He endures. If only it were surprising. He's more like a roach. His consciousness persists on the network. Are we to understand that the physical form we fought against in Provenience Cavern was merely one of many he had obtained? It would appear so. In his Cybermind integration, he has abandoned his physical form. And his consciousness is now more directly connected to the Scorpium Continuum than most of our kind. Oh, Which that's means not what? good. Are we to suffer him in multifarious forms no matter how oft he is bested? That is correct. Unfortunately. As was the plan, I have taken up the mantle of the Sovereign and will bring the universe together as one new Scorpium. You planned this from the start? What? Of course he did. You manipulated us from the start. The history, the traditions, all of Nilbeth stands as the perfect first subject for my rebirth, Scorpion. None are yours to take. Hear right. me, good people of Aster Four. With me as their sovereign, the rebirth, Scorpion, are here to see all the universe fused as one. The people of this planet will be but the first to join us. Let go of your troubles and your fears and accept Scorpium. Hark, we offer you naught but enlightenment. The Scorpium are what our people were always meant to be. Now I'm hearing. He's making it out to be a religion, Leticia but it's not. Osiris. 
I trust you hear me. You will continue to resist me. Of that much, I am certain. But know that I wish for nothing more than peace and happiness for you all as well. You, you lie! Peace we through force is not peace. Our numbers ever growing. Ray, I'm detecting lots of scorpion looking aircraft ticking off from that structure in Nilbeth. They're spreading out over the entire planet. This isn't good. If they move on the cities, we will not hold out for long. This will be a far, far cry from our battle with Remington. It was still How easy, though. To wage war against an enemy immune to death itself. Mm hmm. Our only hope is finding a way to curb Boldor's influence. How will we do that? The data we require can only be obtained by visiting that tower. All right then. Nothing ventured, nothing earned, huh? Yeah. Chloe, what do you think about landing us inside that spire? The way they're jamming our sensors, a direct landing will be impossible. Well, get us as close as you can, and we'll hike the rest. All right. If not, I have faith that we will be fine. <laughs> yes, it is as you say. You got it. I mean, we've been riding our luck this far. Yeah. All right. We get in close. We bust on in. We figure out the rest as we go. Uh huh. Oh, Lola's with us. Which I'm. Yeah, I'm gonna go there later. Yes, I want to head back to. Delric and visit Walsh. Hey, uh, do you have a moment? What's this Truly? about? Uh, well, I'm not sure now's the best time to bring this up, but, uh, I got something important I want to ask you. Uh huh. Oh, what is it? I'll answer as best as I can. So, yeah, about when the Edis got shot down. Oh, yes, that. What do you think the chances are of getting some kind of, like, reimbursement or compensation for that? <laughs> uh, yes. Um, I'm sure we could work something out. Though, uh... It's a little difficult to judge at present with me alone. So, you're saying it's hard for you to push the decision through on your own, yeah? Mm -hmm. Correct. I apologize. I promise I'll do everything I possibly can to help you, though. Is it alright if I get back to you a little later about this? Sure, yeah, yeah, sorry. I wasn't trying to pressure you or anything. It all just comes down to, like, company accounting and spacecraft registration, so whether it's gonna get comped or not changes how we handle things. I'm just a yeah. little anxious is all. Again, so sorry. No, I totally get it. The military has haphazardly destroyed your company's property. Uh -huh. I won't disappoint you. I'll do all I can to negotiate federal compensation for you. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Raymond, do you have a moment? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. I don't mind. What's going on? On our journeys, you have been a great help on countless occasions. Uh -huh. Truthfully, I do not know what would have become of us had we not met back in the Larkus Weald. Albert, what's with you all of a sudden? Mm -hmm. For this reason, I personally would like to show my appreciation. You said you liked sweets. Y yes? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm a sugar fiend. Ah, splendid. For there is a confectionery here that serves my most favorite sweet. I shall take you there, as thanks. Come, let us be off. Okay. Oh, all right. Okay, that was odd. Damn, that was delicious. The sweetness packed a punch, but the flavor was so delicate. Oh, you noticed. 
Their goods are a notch above the rest because the methods they use are quite unique. Interesting. Yeah, you're gonna have to show me all the hot spots. I suppose I have no choice. As thanks. I have a favorite in the royal capital of Sendros. I shall take you there on our next visit. <laughs> I think he's just looking for an excuse to gorge himself on sugar. Mm hmm. Doctor, you said you're not gonna believe this! Crazy! It's gonna sound crazy! Uh, please, it already sounds Nina, crazy. Calm yourself. Pray tell, what has you all wound up? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, so uh, my pendant here started glowing when I went to the ancient coil in Nilpath. How very interesting. That pendant was made by processing ore that Filberto himself unearthed in Nilbeth during his studies abroad. My father traveled to Nilbeth? Perhaps the pendant started glowing as a reaction to returning to where the ore was originally found. My, my. To think it held such... secrets. Mm. I do not recall Filberto ever saying it was anything more than a mere Iatromancer's talisman. <sighs> I wonder exactly why Dad left a charm like this to me. I mean, it's true I did become an Iatromancer, but... Well, maybe your pops wanted you to figure out the secrets of that pendant someday. Or something like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that I can believe. But if he really had such high expectations of me, then I don't see why he didn't just teach me some semiomancy himself. Like I said before, that's probably where your father drew the line in the sand. Jeez, I'm starting to think Dad was a real pain in the butt. <laughs> he most certainly was. But you would do well to remember that the apple does not fall far from the tree, Nina. <laughs> I would never do anything so tortuously convoluted. Uh -huh. You'll see how much truth is held in those words once you grow a bit older. To be perfectly honest, I think that you and your father have quite a lot in common. Uh, after what we just talked about, you really could have kept that to yourself. <laughs> well, everything okay? Uh, hey, what's going on? I still don't understand why she's not wearing her what an awesome glasses anymore. What an scavenger you are, coming here before I even call you. Ta-da! Check this out. Oh, she found him. The ring? Whoa. Is it really? Correctamundo. This is the other ring handed down throughout the vineyard family. Finally. At long last, I have found it! I'm happy wow. for her. Guess that explains the freaky laughter, all right. Congrats. Mm -hmm. Great. So, where'd you find it anyway? This you're not gonna believe. It actually got passed along to the Vale Empire. No wonder I couldn't find it searching all serious high and low. Normally, you'd think the ring would be hard to find after falling into the Empire's hands, right? Mm -hmm. But thanks to the big old snafu between Osirius and Vale recently, relations and trading between the two have been totally revamped! That's how I got my hands on it! <laughs> oh, it's because of us. I'll bet there were some cool people working super hard behind the scenes to make this happen. Yeah. Do, but they definitely have my gratitude. I'm sure you feel the same, yeah? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, we're the ones who did it. Naturally. I gotta extend my thanks to you, too. I'm on the verge of restoring the Vineyard family name. And Why it's all butterflies? thanks to my personal scavenger here. You collected all the vital material I needed. As head of my family, I, Welch Vineyard, would like to reward you with my sincerest gratitude. Okay. Okay then, now that I'm in rightful possession of this ring again, I'm starting to think this house is too small for my big ambitions. I'm gonna build an enormous manor that befits this beautiful merchant magnate with genius level smarts. Mm -hmm. Oh nah, that won't cut it. What a lame humdrum way of reviving our name. I'm gonna make the vineyards the greatest family of merchants in the entire universe! 
uh, that would explain the why there are so many roaches. And until we're the world's leading merchant family, I'll be making use of your services. As my scavenger... No, that's not right. To use an old term from vineyard family history, you are my business partner. <laughs> so let's get back to business partner. All right. Ray, do you have a moment? I was hoping to share the results of my people watching so far. Okay. Yeah, I don't mind. I didn't know you've been doing stuff like that, though. Um, how am I supposed to judge the results of your people watching? Yeah. I shall show you my imitations. Y your what? I am of mind that the best way to understand humanoids is to try and become like them myself. What I would like for you to do is try and guess who I am speaking as. If you are ready, I shall begin. All right. Ray, you don't look too good. Are you feeling okay? If you keep tripping over rocks like that, Albert will get on your case again. That is definitely... Oh, easy as pie. Nina, right? Correct. I think Actually, it was Actually, I don't know if it was easy per se. It's more like no one else talks that way. Let us continue then. More? <laughs> huh. That's my Elena for you, my number one partner. Now I hereby promise I'll focus on my job, wake up in the morning all on my own, and clear my plate at every meal. <gasps> Wait, you don't think that's what I sound like, do you? And knock off making me promise to do all that crazy stuff. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Alright, who, who else is around here? Man, getting hit by an EMP was unlucky, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> It was a failure on my part, not anticipating the use of such weapons. Wait, when did you get hit well, by EMP? I'm glad things turned out all right. Tell me though, what did it feel like when that thing hit you and knocked you offline? Hmm. I imagine it much like an organic being losing consciousness after being exposed to an intense electric shock. Oh, yeah. Damn, I see. Yeah. I could help you experience as much yourself, if you would like. N I think we're okay. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Do not be shy. Here, here. Stop, don't. I'm sorry, okay? I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> no need to shake so. This is a joke. What is not, however, is the threat EMP generators impose on my kind. The very mention of them stirs up what you might consider as traumatic memories. I would advise against raising the topic so casually from now on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Message received. Yeah, I was in the wrong. I am pleased that you now understand. After all these years, I still have no idea what ends up setting her off. <laughs> what are they talking about? In some twist. So, Alby, huh? <laughs> Little Alby. Do not call me that. I'll never forgive Theo for saying such in front of someone like you. So, you're a blue blood, aren't you? And Theo's royalty too, right? Seems like you guys have known each other forever. Are you actually royalty too? If such is your thought, then act as proper. What the hell, man? You want me to call you Prince Albert and kiss your feet? <clears throat> Such a happy face. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's so messy with him. From a long line in service of the royal army, he oft joined my cousin and I when we were but children. Gotcha. Okay. So the three of you are linked by a pretty special bond, huh? Mm -hmm. I love that when you three put your heads together, there's absolutely nothing you can't do. <laughs> well, I do hope so. Princess, this vagabond speaks nothing more than gibberish. You would be wise not to humor him. Well, that was rude. Oh, what are they talking about again? Hey there, what are you two talking about? 
My future plans, of course. I was just in the middle of asking Elena if she can teach me how to treat other diseases besides Helgar's. Nina, my apologies, but I can offer no further insight. Mm -hmm. What? Why not? It is too dangerous. If I were to hand over the answer before you could understand the basics, it will only result in developing additional future problems down the line. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait! But you already taught me everything on how to treat Helgar's disease! The end treatment for Helgar's disease that we developed was only possible thanks to the years of research that you yourself put in. Mm -hmm. I simply nudged you over the finish line. Uh, all I would need is that final push, though! There is no guarantee that my knowledge of medicine will be of any use on this planet. Mm -hmm. What Aster IV's medicinal development requires is its own homegrown clinical studies. Clinical studies? The theories and practices studied on other planets may not, or more likely do not, coincide with the reality of life here. Yeah. Medical science in particular requires more careful, long-term study than most other fields. Unfortunately, Clinical that's studies true. Clinical studies require each individual case to be rigorously and repeatedly investigated. Hmm. But... but... Nina, I'm really sorry, but what Elena is saying is correct. If there was anything we could do to help, we would. I am truly sorry. I mean, I get that you have your reasons and all. But still, I don't see why it has to be this way. Well, unfortunately, that's just the case. Elena, Again? is there anything you don't know? You always have an answer ready no matter what I ask. Despite your age, Nina, you yourself have a range of knowledge that would put many more... How, how many private actors have I missed? I'm so humble, too. I hope to be just like you. You're definitely super knowledgeable, Elena, but you also remember the most useless stuff. Like when, where, and how many times I mess something up. <laughs> yes, Ray. And by my count, this is now the fifth time you have seen fit to complain about it. Exhibit A. Uh, so, Elena, what sort of books did you read to get so smart? Ah, I have not read any books. At least, not in the way you might imagine. Hmm. What? Uh, then how can you know so much? Well, in Elena's case, she doesn't really need to read them. Oh, you got those book smarts without needing books? <laughs> I knew smart <laughs> um. people were on an entirely different level! Oh, I really wish I was more like you. I'm not sure that's I'm what he meant. I'm starting to sense that you hold some key misconceptions about me. Oh, hired nickname? No, it's my boy Albie. What? You wretch. Ah, come on. Theo's been calling you that since you were little, right? What? Can't I? You have not earned the right to call me such. You don't need to get so mad about it. Hey, how about you call me by my nickname, too? What do you say? Why would I do such... No. Hey. Uh, Ray. Uh. It seems weird now. What is it, Albie? Fine weather today. Is it not, Ray? Yeah, it is, Albie. What is the matter? It you just sounds weird now. Me with something more than that, Ray. Well, then you need to talk about something more exciting, Albie. <sighs> Enough. There is no merit to this. <sighs> yeah, you're right. It's my bad. That got awkward fast. Hey, how's it going? You got some free time on your hands? I do not. <laughs> You're bored, aren't you? Uh, is it that obvious? Oddly enough, I've got nothing to do. Mm -hmm. What do you usually do when you have free time like today? Or say, on your day off? Huh. My day off? Well...
Hmm. I'm gonna see this one. I just lay around all day. You just lay around. Yeah. I mean, it's best to that rest your body on kind your days, of a well timed right? meow. And there ain't nothing better for that than a few good naps. But it's your free time. You should really spend it more productively than that. Um, if it's your free time, you can do whatever you want. You don't have to be productive because it's your time. What's going on here? Boldor said some. Hey, what were you guys talking about? Oh, hi, Ray. We were just discussing the prayer spot back at Gelka Shrine. Did you know that there were symbols carved into the altar? Uh oh. So, I was talking with Uncle Midas about how maybe people used to offer prayers to these symbols a long time ago. In the past, symbols that transmitted semiomancy were considered as sacred as divine miracles. Hmm. Though nowadays we do not personally use symbols with semiomancy. Tracing back their lineage, we know that symbols have been included in the iatromantic system. Mm hmm To put it simply, symbols that heal the human body are known as divine miracles. Oh. Wow. That's Uncle Midas for you! Oh, healing magic. Well, I learned it from the best, Filberto. What? From my dad? Yes, and the ebullient man never stopped talking about it. So much so, I couldn't help but memorize it. Symbols are divine miracles, huh? Dad used to really say that. Hmm. Well, these miracles have helped us all out more times than we can count. We'd best be grateful. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's going on here? Ray, there is an important matter Doubtful I would need eyes. to confirm during the time we were apart. Sure. What's up? While I was gone, were you able to handle things day to day? Uh... Huh? Were you ever injured or ill? Has the cuisine of this planet caused you any discomfort or sickness? That's what this is about? You look so intense, I thought you were gonna say something serious. These are all important matters to me, Ray. Now could you please answer me? Uh... uh yeah. I've been fine, all right? Look, I can get by just fine on this planet. No problem. Do you mean it? Did you regularly do your laundry? Did you change your undergarments each and every day? <laughs> Did you remember That's to brush your teeth much. twice per day? Did you maintain a regular sleep cycle? <laughs> what is this all of a sudden? This is not sudden. I have told you before, if your impetuous lifestyle were to fall apart while my attention was diverted, I could never face Raul or Antonio. Well, hold up. I got dropped on this backwater planet out of nowhere. Sticking to routines hasn't exactly been priority number one, you know? So you're saying your lifestyle has, in fact, fallen apart then? Well, I wouldn't say that. I'm just gonna say that. I already told you, no. Is that true? You've always been telling me over and over again what I need to do, right? I mean, I probably didn't dot all the T's and cross all the I's, but I did the best. Then, let us go ask all the others in order to confirm that what you're saying is accurate. No, 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 it's please. Not. Anything but that. I was in the wrong. If that is the case, then please try and maintain a balanced, orderly day. Troubled lifestyles breed troubled minds. Which then caused trouble on the job. Yeah, I I know, I know, I know, I know. Ray, there is an important matter I would need to confirm during the time we were apart. Again? Huh, again? Well, what could it be now? It concerns your diet. Have you made sure to consume three full meals every day? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. No problems in that department. Three nutritious meals a day. I even made sure to consider all the nutrients. Uh-huh, sure you did. That is unexpected. Have you no faith in me whatsoever? Apologies. 
I simply felt sure your eating habits would take an unhealthy turn. You know, I do think about that stuff all on my own. Food fuels the body, Elena. No way am I gonna neglect it now and collapse at a time like this. Right. It reassures me to see that you are well aware of the importance of a proper diet. Oh, man. I'm thankful Albert arranges the meal times and menu identically to Leticia's. I don't even need to think about it. I always know I'm eating well and proper. If it would improve your dietary habits, then perhaps we should consider you remaining here, on this planet, for some time. Oh no. Whoa, 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 slow your roll there. Sometimes, I just need to sit back and eat a bunch of junk food without worrying whether or not it's healthy for me. Very well. In that case, I will see that I remain even more aware of and take preventative actions against your stress eating habits. <laughs> Oh, I should kick myself for saying that out loud. I had a feeling there'd be one for him here. A little laggy. But this just village the scenery. is pretty idyllic, ain't it? That is how you see it? Huh? Well, it is divorced from the cacophony and commotion of places like Delric and Rife. Which is why I chose to live here after leaving the capital. But once I actually started living here, idyllic was about the last thing I found it to be. That's so. Well, what do you think possessed me to erect such an ominous gate? Ah. The village is constantly threatened by mountain beasts. And suitable farmland is sparse. In the past, it once mm. thrived as a place of training for the kingdom's semiomancers. But young blood these days aren't interested in coming here, and some villagers even left to the capital for work. That's the difference between living and visiting, I guess. Yes, mm -hmm. but still, not everyone cares to move to the city. No matter how remote or inconvenient it is, they'll protect where they've laid their roots. Paragons of virtue as they are, I stayed to help. You know, from what the villagers say about you, you seem like a completely different person. I'm not one to put on airs to suit with whom I speak. <laughs> All that being said, it's obvious you love this village, and it loves you in return. Mm -hmm. You do understand something. What are they talking about? Hey, school in session? Why would you think that? Considering her position, I wanted Malkia's advice on how to be a better leader. Oh, okay. Makes sense. You being in charge of a crew and all. Ultimately, I believe the most important thing for a person in a position of power is to be calm. For no one wants to follow a leader whose mind is in disarray. Even yeah. when feeling unsure, simply projecting a serene ambiance will help those around you remain calm. In truth, it is not dissimilar to standing your ground. I get it in theory, but when the time comes, I can't help but feel flustered. Hmm. Then you should try deep breathing exercises. Deep breathing exercises? <sighs> I'm finished. What is this supposed to do? Supposed to help calm your mind. Composure, the first step to regain it is to breathe deeply. Before making a big decision or taking drastic measures, remember to take a deep breath. That alone will make you feel much better. I know what it does for me. Huh? Maybe I should try doing it too. You should, Ray. You're our leader after all. Let's try it out together. It looks like he's yawning. <sighs> it still looks like they're yawning. It really is calming. I mean, I've heard about it before, but it's never been something I've tried on my own. It is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Malkia. I'll keep this in mind for next time. Good. Very wise of you. Albert. What's wrong? 
Something bothering you? Not at all. Now be gone. Ah, come on. Stop being such a stick in the mud. Hmm. Have you ever... wished you could reach maturity in a quicker manner? Huh? Do not feign ignorance. Tell me, have you? Uh, um... I guess. Uh, I just really didn't expect you to ask me that. Uh, maturity, huh? Hmm. I have. Yeah, I have. If anything, I've felt like that my whole life. I see. Ever since I was little, I've helped out with the family business with a bunch of adults. But there were plenty of times when I wasn't strong enough because I was a kid. Everybody was always real nice to me and told me it's just how it is. But hearing that just made me wish more that I'd grow up sooner. I share a similar experience. Mm -hmm. I oft think that if I were more adult in turn, I could support the princess better. It is constant. Hey, from where I stand, you already look plenty supportive. No, I am still lacking. I must grow and become stronger for the sake of the princess. Is this because he's not in the party? You know, Leticia doesn't rely on you because of the adult you'll become later on. She relies on you because of who you are now. Mm-hmm. Meaning... Meaning she's already got plenty of people like that. But you've been there for her since forever. That means you've got something to offer Leticia that others don't. I say, you may have a point. <laughs> You surprise me with such unexpected wisdom. Yeah. Hey, come on now. If you were actually mature, you'd be thanking me. Hey, Ray, tell me, what sort of stuff did you like to do when you were a kid? Why'd you think of that all of a sudden? Yeah. Don't blame me for the random thoughts that crossed my mind. <laughs> come on, though. I bet it was nothing like here, right? Eh, not so much. It really wasn't all that different. Really? You didn't, you know, use the technology that harnesses the amazing power of the stars to play some unimaginable games or anything? You mean, should you mean I'm video sure games? I, followed all that. I mean, I was always just goofing off like any regular kid. Really? Like, what kind of goofing off? Hmm. Well? Oh, am I making a choice? I'm gonna say that. I think I spent all my Japanese. time catching bugs. Oh, oh, I did that too. I was really into my bug collection. Nice. They're super cool. Especially the ones that are huge and all shiny and dark black. I know, right? Oh, yeah. There are tons and tons of really neat insects around here, you know? We have to go look for them sometime. Ah, hell yeah. <laughs> I haven't done any bug hunting in forever. Yeah. Damn, it is filthy in here. I mean, this room seems rustic. <laughs> uh, what do you want? There's nothing I really need, but... Hey, don't touch that. Oh, chill out. Jeez, I was just taking a look at the cover. That was... Uh, I have everything in this room exactly kind. as I want it. Touching anything will obfuscate my delicate balance. But your room is such a mess. Yeah. By the looks of it, you don't have an exact spot for anything. Look with your eyes, not with your hands, got it? Now, out with you. I'm busy. All right, all right. Wow, man. At least clean up the dust bunnies around here. Come on. Uh... How's your father been doing? He appears under no duress. The carry is received seems quite effective. Why is this called children effective. no longer? Ah, good. Good. Glad to hear it. He has faced so much for so long. I hope I can afford him time to rest, circumstances be as they are. 
Resting is an important part of work, as they say. Protecting the mm -hmm. Indeed, though I am certain the moment he is left alone, he will seek to return to his duties. He leaves me quite worried. <laughs> yeah, that's the way it always goes. My dad always told my brother and me that it's important to rest up so you don't get sick and burden everyone else. <laughs> but he never takes a break himself. So one time, my brother, Elena, and I all forcibly tied him down in a bed. Goodness. Yeah. I must confess, you seem to have inherited such ways from him. Have I really? I don't like the sound of that. Mm, Why that does sound bad. Well, I mean, what if I said you and your father are also alike? You do both get worked up when stuff gets out of hand. I, well, yes, I suppose I cannot truthfully deny as much, but be that as it may, I simply wish to work now so that my father might take this time to rest completely unperturbed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right there. We are both totally turning into our fathers. <laughs> Friendly rivalry. Sword practice, huh? We got a lot of hurdles ahead of us, so maybe don't push yourself too hard. <sighs> Nay, you need not worry after me. I find myself reminded of my limitations. Gotcha. Well, I guess a lot's happened so far. Yes, and while not all can be solved at the thrust of a sword, there remains much that good swordsmanship can prove. Mm-hmm. Should this world of mine continue to advance in technology, there may come a day when swords such as these no longer serve any martial purpose. One day when which they are but relics of the past. Yet even then, I believe they will offer us some things we will never lose. The chivalrous way of our knights, sworn to their swords, may yet carry on through the ages. Discarded or replaced. Something more spiritual and cultural shall remain. What makes you think that? I believe that the very same drive which compels us to fight is the same which we will require in order to move our world forward. Hmm. Never mind the fact that you acknowledged in our first sparring session that your world too retains military arts. Yeah, I guess I did say something like that. And yeah, when we train in military arts, the first thing they teach us is how to temper our hearts. All right, then. I am gonna go work out my body to train my mind. You coming? Of course. Be aware, however, that I see no need to hold back against you any longer. Show me a little mercy here. <laughs> would anyone have imagined I would be dressed to be wed so soon? And of them, mm -hmm. who could have anticipated these circumstances? Honestly, I wouldn't mind some alternate Quite costumes. Quite the hassle, huh? Must have been hard. This was all merely performative, of course. But... Honestly, how did I look? Fit for the attire? What? Uh, yeah, I mean... I get a choice, don't I? You looked great. Well then, my thanks. Mm. Actually, it was nice to see a different side of you than usual. But... But... What? Yeah. I can't really put my finger on it, but something about it just didn't sit right. I mean, the ceremony was so sudden. It also made me think, how can a dress get made that quickly? A keen observation. Mm -hmm. The dress was not originally tailored for me, in fact. It was merely a refitting of a dress on hand. Ah, oh, now I gotcha. So, it wasn't the right one for a princess to wear. Yet, I cannot help but think Baldor may have truly called for this in good faith. Huh? 
I am left feeling conflicted. Is that Chloe and Malkia? Wait, what, what's That's Chloe doing down here? Every day? A lady's love advice? What do you wish to consult with me? I just don't have anyone else I can talk to about this. Oh? I... um... What do I have to do to get an older man to like me? I need to know! What? <laughs> uh... Hmm... Quite the inquiry. In my personal opinion, no matter how mature a man becomes, he will always have the mind of a boy. The yeah. mind of a boy? Correct. Thus, understanding a boy's mindset would be an effective method in garnering a man's appeal. For people instinctively seek out those who can understand how they feel. Oh yeah. my gosh, you're totally right! That makes perfect sense! Malkia, you're a genius! <laughs> Truly now, I am pleased to know I was of assistance. I really admire adults like you with years and years of experience. Child, please. You are much too gracious. Oh, that reminds me. Yes, you have come this far. You may as well continue. Yeah. Okay, yeah. May I ask how old you are? Oh. Uh, I am willing to answer you. However... Are you quite sure you will not regret asking? Uh, um... I'm sorry, no more questions from me. Yes, that would be wise. I'm actually curious about that and myself. And the same applies to whomever is eavesdropping over there. Yeah. Uh, uh-huh? Ray? Speak up if that's you! Ah, uh, sorry for listening in. But, um, I appreciate you hearing Chloe out. Mm hmm Pay it no mind. It is an elder's duty to spark the fires of passion in the young. An elder, huh? Nope, 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 nope. I am not saying a word. <laughs> Wise decision. Let's you again. Nina, may I ask for your assistance oh, cool. in a certain task? Me? You need my help? Uh, a book you club, want. really? Oh, except for money. I can't help with that. Don't worry. It's definitely not about that. I was hoping you would be able to help me find a particular book. Oh? What? Oh, but wait. I thought you didn't need to read books or anything, Elena. You are correct. Until now, I had no need to actively go through bound paper to procure new information. But, in order to learn more about Aster IV, I believe it may be best to make use of the writings of its local authors. Mm -hmm. I see, makes sense. No one can teach you about our planet except for those who live on it. Leave it to me then! I will bring you the bestest of the best books on Aster! Oh, now that's Team Spirit. Mm -hmm. Well, when you've read libraries worth of books like I have, you get pretty excited about curating the very best. Hmm. Oh, I feel my motivation burning! Thank you, Nina. I am glad I came to you for this request. Okay, now there's this book that I think everyone should read, but I also have this other one you definitely like, so... Uh... Oh, and you have to read that classic! Elena, you're gonna be in for a real treat. Okay. You're even more hyped up than usual. And look at that smile on your face. Well, I think I'm gonna end this video here. So if you guys enjoyed, hit that like button. Don't forget that bell. And comment down below. And with all that said, thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next video.